In modern, one of the most powerful creatures used to be Arclight Phoenix. This is because Faithless Looting used to be legal, meaning that you could have an insane turn one or two. But when they banned Faithless Looting, Arclight Phoenix all but disappeared. But with a new addition from March and the Machines, it seems like Arclight Phoenix might have a new shell. The new card is Bloodfeather Phoenix. This is a two mana two two with flying, and it says Bloodfeather Phoenix can't block. Whenever an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to an opponent or a battle, you may pay one red. If you do, return Bloodfeather Phoenix from the graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste until end of turn. This alongside Arclight Phoenix means that we can almost double the amount of Phoenixes that we can have in the deck. And while paying a red to get the Bloodfeather Phoenix back is somewhat of a big deal, we are playing three gut shots and four lava darts, which means that we have three spells that we can cast so that we don't have to pay two mana to get back a Bloodfeather Phoenix. But you might be wondering, what are we replacing Faithless Looting with? We're going to be taking inspiration from an old deck called Hollow One by playing four copies of Burning Inquiry and four copies of Goblin War. Burning Inquiry is a one mana sorcery that says each player draws three, then discards three cards at random. And Goblin Lore is a two mana sorcery that says draw four cards, then discard three cards at random. And since we have 12 cards that we actively want in our graveyard, the discard three is not a big deal. And since Burning Inquiry and Goblin Lore work so well with Hollow One, we also are including that in the deck. So as you can see when looking at the deck, it's very low to the ground, aggressive, and has some ridiculously crazy turns. So we're gonna be trying this epic brew in a League of Modern. Match one, we're on the play, and definitely a risky hand, but we're gonna keep. We'll play Mountain. Final goes turn one, Foothills. And we find a land off the top, and we'll just fetch a Mountain and pass, holding up Salvaging. Final plays a Bloodstained Mire, and we'll Faithless Salvaging. And they fetch Shock Spell, piercing our Salvaging. We draw a land. We'll cast a Goblin War. And those were not the best draws and discards. We'll just play Tap Land and pass the opponent. Final plays out an EI. Exile in an EI. Then plays a Tap Sacred Foundry. Ooh, we draw another Salvaging. We'll play Mesa and pass the opponent. Final plays Tarn and passes. And then step, we'll cast the Salvaging, discarding a Phoenix. Falling Bolt, we'll fetch out another land, cast another Salvaging. And we're gonna discard Phoenix in our upkeep. We cast another one, rebounding it, discarding our Bloodfeather Phoenix. Go on a hauled one, oh my god. And we'll loot away a land with the other one. Find an inquiry and a Goblin Lore, holy. So we're gonna lead on a Goblin Lore. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll cast Manamorphose. This turn is so good. Oh, and they have a Spell Pierce for the Morphose. So we'll go to combat, getting three Phoenixes back. Attack in for nine. Bone fetch out a Dwarven Mine and then cast the Lightline Binding, taking out one of our Phoenixes and then bolts another one. So they go down to 12 and then we'll cast out two Hollow Ones. Sweet turn of regardless what happens. Yep, an opponent just fetches out a Dwarven Mine, getting two Archons and we can't win this game so we'll scoop them up and get into sideboarding and we'll just submit the deck back game to our hands a little weak but it's still fine lead on turn one tarn oh it goes turn one mire we top deck a lava dart we'll play a mesa and hold up salvaging final plays a strike at rich and a scalding tarn and on their end step we'll cast a salvaging and we'll discard a lava dart on our upkeep we rebound casting it for free we'll discard a mire join a mire then two mana morphos so we'll lead on Morphos, drawing a Phoenix, cast another Morphos, into another Morphos. So let's cast them all. Drawing up Bloodfeather Phoenix, and we'll cast another Manamorphos. Yep, and then we gotta cast a Phoenix, and we'll play a Mountain and pass. Opponent goes Mountain to a Fable. We draw a Bolt for turn. We'll attack in for two. Bolt the Shaman and play a Tap Foundry. Opponent loots away an Archon and a Creativity. They cast a Strike at Rich and pass back. We draw a Bolt for turn. We'll cast out a Phoenix, attack in for five, and they have a Leyline Binding, taking out our Arclight Phoenix. We'll play our land and pass back. Opponent casts out a Teferi. We draw a DRC for turn. We'll play that. Attack the Teferi. Teferi goes down to three, and then we'll bolt it. Surveilling with the DRC. And Burning Query is a little too weak, so we'll bend that. Opponent bolts our DRC. In response, we'll Lava Dart the Kiki Jiki. Surveilling a Hollow One into the yard. Then we'll Dart the Kiki Jiki again. And we'll bend a Blood Feather Phoenix. Again, Lobbing Dart our opponent, so we can Surveil again. Sacking a mountain and faithless salvaging is the best card, so we'll keep that one on top. When they take one, Bloodfeather Phoenix triggers and we'll pay a red and return to the battlefield. An opponent casts another fable. We draw our salvaging, we'll cast it, drawing a card, drawing into another salvaging. We attack in for four. Opponent discards a spell pierce off of fable and attacks in, getting a treasure token. An opponent casts a creativity for two, and there's nothing we can do, so we'll scoop it up. Getting on to match number two. Match two, we're on the play, and with the hollow one hand, so we're gonna keep. We'll lead on turn one, Blood Saint Mire. Opponent goes turn one, shocked and a hollowed fountain. We draw a mountain for turn, we'll cast out a mana. Morphos, and they have a spell pierce. They play a tarn and pass. We draw a salvaging. We'll play a mountain and pass back. When it fetches out of island and casts a teferi, then they tick up their teferi. We draw a mana morphos. We'll lead on that. Gone into another land. Play it out and then cast a goblin lore. Finding two hallowed ones. So we'll cast both of those out. And then we'll also cast out this blood feather phoenix. Grabbing a mountain. When it shocks in a hallowed fountain and bounces a hallowed one. Bolting our phoenix. We draw a DRC for turn. We'll lead on that. Bolt the opponent. Surveilling a salvaging into the yard. When they take three, we'll pay one red to get back 
the Phoenix, and we'll send both that to Fairy. Opponent plays Glacial Fortress into a Verdict. We draw Burning Inquiry for turn, we'll play that. Finding Land and Lava Dart, we'll Lava Dart the opponent, and then paying a red to get back the Phoenix, attacking the opponent for two, and we'll hold our land. Opponent does nothing, passing back. We draw DRC for turn, we'll lead on attacking for two, and they run out a Snapcaster Mage, and they target Lightning Bolt in their yard, and then bolt our Phoenix. We'll play out a DRC, and they counter spell that. We'll pick up Gigantha and play a land for turn. Opponent plays a Triome and attacks in for two, and then Sep will fetch out a Foundry. We draw a Metamorphose for turn, we'll lead on that. They force negation our Metamorphose. We'll Lava Dart them, triggering our Phoenix. And we'll pay a red to get it back and attack in for two. Oh, it's down to five. Whoa, when they cast a stone forge, did not expect that. Grabbing a cauldra, they attack us for two. We draw a DRC for turn, we'll play that and attack in for two. An opponent's fallen down to three. Opponent casts a prismatic ending on our DRC, activate stone forge, put it in cauldra in, tax us for seven, we go down to six. And we find a phoenix. Oh god, do we win this? Oh my god, they we got it! <laughs> wow, crazy game. Let's get on to sideboarding. We'll bring in two Prismatic Indians for two gut shots. Game two, our server is quite powerful. We'll keep. Opponent goes turn one strand. We draw a Goblin Lore. We'll go turn one DRC. Opponent shocks in the fountain and passes. We draw a Hallowed one. We'll go mountain into Goblin Lore. Surveilling with DRC. And we'll bend a DRC. Opponent counters our lore. So we'll attack in for one. Opponent untaps and casts a Lion Sash. Missing a land drop. So we're gonna lead on Manamorphose, surveilling a land into the yard, and they have a force negation. We'll play Mire, get a mountain, and cast an inquiry, bending a land. And we keep a hollowed one, so we'll cast that out, and we'll attack in for one. Opponent plays an island, then eats an art-like phoenix with Lion Sash, and they eat our other phoenix. We top deck a goblin lore, we'll lead on that, and we'll bend a Manamorphose, which means we have delirium now. Wow, that was a good burning inquiry. We'll bolt the opponent, bending a gut shot, play a mesa, fetch out a mountain, and then cast out a burning inquiry, putting a mountain to the yard, and finding a lava dart as well. So we'll go to combat, getting back a phoenix, and attack. Back in for 10 and opponent's down to two and opponent scoops him up let's get into match number three match three we're on the draw with a slightly risky hand but we're keeping opponent fetch shocks and plays out a guide revealing a blood feather phoenix we'll play a mesa and pass opponent plays a cannon attacks will this trigger happen faithless salvaging on top we'll shuffle that away grabbing a mountain and bolting the guide and after combat they play an eidolon we find a lava dart opponent plays a canyon into a goblin guide into a second eidolon i don't think we can win this game opponent attacks us and reveals the goblin lore and yeah we just can't win this we'll scoop it up and get on to sideboarding we're gonna bring in two ending for two gut shot game two our hands much stronger we'll keep we'll lead on turn one drc i'll go turn one mountain into a goblin guide revealing a faithless salvaging we draw salvaging for turn we're gonna lead on a burn and query surveilling a goblin lore into the yard we end up getting delirium so we'll attack in for three play a tapped foundry and pass back when it goes vantage into an eidolon then attacks in for two revealing a phoenix we'll play our mire then cast out a burning query hoping we can discard the phoenixes and we'll keep a bolt on top and we discard one phoenix and an arc light phoenix we'll cast out our free hollowed one we'll fetch out a mountain bolt the opponent surveilling with drc putting prismatic into the yard we'll pay a red to get back our phoenix and then lava dart the opponent sacking the mountain surveilling another phoenix into the yard oh my god we're so good getting two phoenixes back and attacking in for lethal oh apologies that one well maths for blockers opponent plays out of planes taxing with the team and we'll kill the guide because they're locked out by eidolon and opponent scoops them up let's get into game three game three our starting hands just missing a discard outlet so we'll keep opponent leads on mountain into swift spear popping us down to 19 we top deck a bolt we'll play a mire and fetch right now grabbing a mountain passing opponent plays a mire and attacks him and we'll bolt the swift spear and opponent passes Ooh, we draw salvaging for turn we'll hold that up pass back and nothing from the our end step opponent suspends a rift bolt and passes on the end step we'll fetch a mountain and cast a salvaging and we'll discard our phoenix find a drc we rebound the faithless salvaging we'll cast that discarding a gut shot finding a sacred foundry into another salvaging so lead on drc shock in a foundry and cast a metamorphose in response they fetch a plains and a mountain we surveil a land into the yard finding a phoenix so we'll cast a salvaging discarding our phoenix and we'll keep a metamorphose on top of our deck then a phoenix drawing metamorphose go to combat triggering two phoenixes and i am very confused what's going on on their Side. An opponent bolts a phoenix. We'll attack in for three. On their upkeep, they rip bolt us. Plays a tap boundary and searing blazes our phoenix. We rebound salvaging, seeing a manamorphose on top. We'll keep that. Discard our hollowed one. We draw a goblin war for turn. We'll lead on manamorphose. And we'll keep a hollowed one on top. And we'll cast another manamorphose. Then in DRC. And in an ending. We'll cast our lore. Then in another lore. And discarding nothing. So we'll cast our hollow one and go to combat. Getting two phoenixes and attacking for nine. An opponent's down to six. They play a canyon and then searing blaze our DRC. Cracks their canyon and scoops them up. Let's get into match Number four. Match four, we're on the play with a great hand. Just gotta get a little lucky with the Goblin Lore and Baron and Query. Lead on turn one Mesa. On goes turn one Triumph. We draw a mountain for turn. We'll play that, fetch out a mountain, and cast a Manamorphose. Finding Goblin Dart, we'll cast another Manamorphose. Find another Phoenix. Let's get a little lucky. And we Goblin Lord discarding none of our Phoenixes. That's tough. And it plays a Mire and passes. We find a Scalding Tarn. We'll play a Mesa and cast an Query. Discarding two Blood Feather Phoenixes. So we'll fetch out a mountain. Got shot the opponent. Pain two life. Triggering both Phoenixes. And we'll pay to get them both back. And we'll attack and 
for four. Opponent fetches a mountain, casts a Teferi, bouncing a Phoenix. We top deck a Mire, we'll attack down Teferi and cast out a Phoenix. We're also holding up Lava Dart this turn. Opponent plays Dwarven Mine into a Rin, taking up on a Bloodstained Mire. We draw a Hauled one for a turn, we'll play out a Phoenix. We'll attack the opponent for seven, ignoring Rin. And they cast Leyline Binding, taking out a Phoenix. Play a Tarn and Bass. Opponent casts a Teferi, bouncing a Phoenix, taking up with Rin, grabbing a land, no attacks. Lead on attacking Teferi. Teferi falls and we'll cast out a Phoenix, holding up Lava Dart and cycling Hauled one. Cast another Teferi. We're going to cycle Hauled one in response, drawing a Morphos. They bounce a Phoenix, take up with Rin and play a land. Draw another Lava Dart for turn, we'll lead on Mana Morphos, drawing a land. We'll play a Phoenix and attack Teferi down, and they bolt our Phoenix. So we'll lava dart the Teferi, play a Mesa and pass. Opponent plays a Mire, fetches up a Dwarven Mine, then cast a Creativity for three. We will dart one of the Dwarfs, dart another Dwarf, and sack a land to kill the last one. Opponent ticks up on a land, untap finding a Burning Inquiry. So we're going to cast that, then lava dart the opponent, triggering Phoenix, dart them again, put them down to four, getting the Phoenix back and getting the win let's get on to sideboarding again bringing in nothing game two our hands just a little too slow so we'll our six is much better we'll bit in a hollow one and opponent plays a ley line oof we draw a goblin lord for turn opponent fetches out a foundry and plays Ren. pretty nuts start for them grabbing a scalding turn back and then step we'll bolt to the Ren. find another phoenix we'll just stun tap and kill this Ren. opponent goes tap steam vents find a gut shot we'll fetch out a mountain and cast a phoenix opponent cast an ending killing our phoenix and plays a mesa hollow one's a great draw we'll cast a lore discarding the hollow one sadly we will shock in the sacred foundry and cast a channeler. Opponent plays out a dwarven mine and fetched one out as well. And creativity is for two, so let's get into game three. Game three, we're gonna bring in two wear tear for two gut shot. Game three, our starter is quite good. Opponent has a turn zero ley line. We'll shock in a foundry and cast a DRC. Opponent plays a foothills and passes. We draw another hollow one. Oh man, we might get really lucky here. We'll cast out a goblin lore and we'll surveil a land to the yard. Come on, give us two hollowed ones. Sadly, only one, but still fine. And we also have delirium, so we'll attack in for three. Our opponent's down to 16. They play a triumph and ley line binding our hollow one. We top deck a phoenix. We'll play a mountain and attack in for three then cast out a blood feather phoenix i don't cast an abundant growth and plays out of xander's lounge we find a mountain for turn we'll cast faith with salgene bending the hollow one discarding phoenix find another land we'll cast an inquiry bending the land we find bolt and hollow one we'll attack in for five then cast a hollow one an opponent has a creativity and a dwarven mine unfortunate getting cruelty we'll sack phoenix and discard bold our upkeep we rebound salvaging and drc at this point is two weeks so we'll bend that finding a land and to a lava dart so we'll lava dart the archon bending up faithless salvaging sacking a mountain dealing one to the archon with our lava dart bending a land we get back a phoenix but sadly this isn't going to be able to do it for us we attack in for 10 they kill our drc and this game's just over so let's get into match number five match five we're on the play and our seven's a little too weak our six is much stronger we'll keep putting back the lightning bolt we'll go turn one foundry into drc oh and it looks like we're up against boggles we find a mesa for turn we'll play that out and attack in with the rc no blocks and they're down to 19. Opponent plays a plains and attacks in for one then plays a slippery bogle nothing else we'll fetch out mountain and cast a salvaging and we'll bend the hollow one discarding phoenix Drawing gut shot. Our upkeep, we rebound and we'll bend a bolt, discarding lava dart and drawing a card and another DRC. We'll play DRC into a burning inquiry, bending a land and a blood feather phoenix. And we put two blood feather phoenix into the yard off of that burning inquiry and we find a hollow one. We'll fetch out mountain, cast a hollow one, lava dart the opponent, sacking a land, putting land in the yard and another lava dart, triggering both phoenixes, but we can only pay for one. Go to combat, getting back on arc light and attacking in for eight. That was such a cool turn. And opponent scoops them up. Let's get into sideboarding. We're going to take out four bolts and two gut shots for four wear tear and two present ending game two hands a little awkward looking but i'm gonna keep it for science oh it goes turn one thicket into a boggle we draw land for turn fly out a blood sand mire and pass they shock in the temple garden and cast a rancor into an ethereal armor we'll fetch shock a foundry and kill the ethereal armor we top deck a burning inquiry probably the best card we could have found uh, we discard a wear tear hell one a land our land and pass i'm gonna cast a spider umbra attacking us for four down to ten and cast out a rest in peace we draw a blood feather phoenix we'll play that out for turn an opponent top decks a daybreak coronet we'll scoop it up and get in the game three game three our starter is quite strong we on turn one mire pass i'll go turn one temple garden into a scout we draw a mountain for turn we on an inquiry discard in a phoenix and a lava dart we'll play a mesa and pass and plays out an umbra into a heath shocking in a temple garden and casting ethereal armor we're gonna fetch shock and tear this ethereal armor before they deal damage to us that resolves and we only take two top deck another tear for turn great draw play a mountain and pass they play a canopy and crack it and then they attack us for two they run another scout and on the end step we'll cast a faithless salvaging discard in a phoenix we rebound the salvaging and we'll discard a mire draw a blood feather phoenix and a prismatic ending so we'll pending an umbra play our mesa float a mana off the mountain lava dart the opponent triggering our phoenix and paying a red to get it back and getting the phoenix back and we'll attack in for five and we're not going to hold up wear tear so we'll just cast the phoenix so it goes to combat taking us down to nine then plays out a rest in peace they play a canopy and pass we top deck a mire we'll play that out and attack in for seven. Oh, when an opponent has a path and we'll fetch out a mountain and grab gigantha still holding up tear they untap cracking canopy then enchants their scout with a spirit link 
which would keep them alive if we didn't have the tear. They play a tap temple guard and go to combat. So we'll tear the spirit link. And we get the salt off in the chat. Let's go. 3-2 with the league. So overall, the deck was quite fantastic. We lost to creativity twice, but I think that's an easy solution if you want to fix that problem. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.